Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Serving nerves where we talk about whatever we want, and today we're going to be going through more fat acceptance cringe compilations. So, uh, let's just get into it. I give up. Fuck this. They're just a cute couple. Oh, oh sorry that you can't get a girl even though you've got a better body than this guy. Like, they're just living their lives and the guy obviously is like a king because uh, he seems to be able to score better than you can. Like, dude, it's so funny. I feel like you should never belittle somebody on the basis of just their body in a relationship. You can be a fat person in a relationship and have a rocking mindset, be like a total powerhouse, be a sweetie pie. Like I've met and dated some dudes that are not particularly like, you know, lean or anything like that. They're pretty chubby. And some of them are like really sweet guys, so it doesn't really matter. I've also met like people who have the perfect body and they're douchebags. So it's like, bro, <laughs> sucks that you're kind of more on that vibe of not being able to score even though you have a good body. Like, you know, you might have a body that can rock somebody's G-spots, but at the end of the day, the cognitive ones are the ones that matter. Most people won't stick around for just a body. So personally, I think that guy must have a really good relationship with that chick if he's sticking around and this is the judgment that's made. Especially since given a societal standard, when you see somebody overweight, you think, oh, well, how can they score like chicks and all that? It's because they have a great personality. So I don't know, or maybe because they buy them. But at the end of the day, so could this guy, who knows? I'm just saying like, I think that this guy over here, total vibe, good on him. Like, I'm just saying like this couple, they seem happy. So like, who cares? Okay, so hold on. Um... The joke here seems to be that it's not fair that the fat guy gets the hot girl because he's fat and you work out, so you should have the hot girlfriend. But in the comment section of that video, you said this. Like, I agree a little bit with the person who's pointing out this comment. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, what are you making the joke on if you're, like, making the joke, but also being like, oh, but don't bully them, bro. Like, so aren't you the one perpetuating the ultimate level of judgment on the basis of somebody's body? I don't know. I know it's all a joke, but it's, like, stupid. Which tells me that you know the effect that this video will have on that guy but you left it up, which maybe makes me think that you don't understand the effect that video is going to have on people's perception of you, my guy, because that video makes you look pathetic. And that's not usually a vibe I get from bodybuilders, you know? But the guy you stitched looks cool as hell. He's dancing on the beach with the woman he loves. He looks like a fucking cool homie, you. My guy, I'm, I'm getting like so like sussed out right now. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, I can't believe I said something that cringy. Yeah, whatever. I'm wearing a shirt that literally says cringe on it. So what can I be saying? But anyways, this person's actually like kind of a vibe. <laughs> I kind of dig it. We both have a swoop. We both say my guy. Like we basically are related. I wonder if they're also Italian. Who knows? But anyways, point I'm trying to make is they're not wrong, although I don't believe in, like, the pettiness of the internet being, like, oh, the repercussions, how you're gonna affect this guy because you made a fat joke on him. Like, he probably doesn't give a shit, and if he does, he shouldn't. But also, yeah, it's making the bodybuilder dude look like a total douche nugget, so... I don't know, man. Uh, saying that, I feel like, you know, if you put anything online, expect to be judged, so it's like, whatever. I don't know, man, this is just cringe are standing alone in your living room being bitter that somebody else has a girlfriend. It's not a hot vibe, which is weird coming from a person who, if they stand still and keep their mouth shut, is pretty attractive. So, like, this could be fixed, my guy. You have the power to not be cringy anymore. And I recommend that you use it. I'm just pointing out, I'm just pointing out, I, for some reason I'm simping so hardcore for this person. Like, I don't really give a crap if people, like, are acting like bullies online. It's just, like, bullying and, like, I'm not here to endorse bullying, obviously. I don't want to get the channel struck, but it's also, like, the words of other people should never affect anybody of importance. But, I'm just pointing out, I'm kind of simping for this person. We're both basically the same individual. Like, it's just weird. Maybe a little bit different on the basis of perception, but we basically look the same. Like, we have a swoop and everything. So, I'm calling it out. I wish I knew where my glasses were, because I'd put them on just for the video. Still don't understand why going to the gym makes me fat phobic. I literally worked hard for my body. Why are you trying to shame me for it? Going to the gym does not make you fat phobic. Going to the gym so that you can look a certain way and have a certain body image does make you fat phobic because there's absolutely nothing healthy about a certain body size. No. This is just so cringe. I, I, I can't handle these kinds of people. It's not even fat phobic. If you have a certain perception of your body or the way you want to look, even if it's just 100% petty and there's nothing to do with the health of it, it's not fat phobic. If anything, you could make an argument for maybe like 
vanity or something like that, being vain, being, you know, body focused or whatever. But it's not fat phobic, bro. Like, dude, come on, man. Like, it's not that deep. You're not fat phobic for wanting to go to the gym, be healthier, be skinnier, whatever. It's not fat phobic. Like, it's just ridiculous. It's just silly goose pop work. Well, that's just how you measure success at the gym. No, success surrounding physical fitness can be measured and should be measured by your ability to lift more, to do more reps, to run faster, to make the activities easier. When you're just focused on size, yeah, yeah, that would make me fat phobic. So now I'm a bad person and I just shouldn't work out. Fat phobia is not a derogatory term. So why bring up the point that I'm- Um, okay, like, okay, hold the fucking phone. Why on earth are you utilizing the terminology of fat phobia if you're not applying a level of like, negativity to it. Derogatory literally implies a level of like disrespect, like negativity. Like the term derogatory literally implies a level of like criticism and disrespect towards a specific thing. So when you're saying that fat phobia isn't derogatory, then you're basically belittling the entire value of why you would call something fat phobic in the first place. It's just ridiculous. It might be fat phobic. Because fat phobia is a social justice issue and some people want to leave this world a better place for their children. Uh, yes, social justice issue. Didn't you call me a racist too? Bro, this is like the cringiest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. I feel like my IQ has dropped like 12 points. Like, you know what? I need 12 inches of something. But I'll tell you this much, the IQ is not there for that, okay? The IQ is gone. All right, we're in the negatives now. It's just sad. I don't even know how I can respond properly to this because it's so delusional and bad. Whatever, anyways, I'm sorry. This is just diarrhea. I've had an ED. I'm still fat phobic. I don't express it outwardly, but if I see fat on my body, I want to lose it. How do I stop being fat phobic? Well, one thing is if you have an ED, go to therapy. Like you really do need to get some assistance with that, especially if you've got things like body dysmorphia because it sounds like that person has body dysmorphia. Like if you see any fat on your body, you wanna lose it. And having some fat on your body looks good. Like not having any fat on your body makes you look like horrifying. It's disgusting. Like it actually is terrible because it can show that you're like typically starving and not eating adequately and whatnot. So you should definitely go to therapy, I think. Like that's, that's the point where you need to go to therapy. I just watched this video of this girl talk about her trauma from weight loss and the fat phobia that she's faced and her stitches are off so I can't even stitch the video but it got me to think about what happened to me when I was 15. It was uh, the summer right before high school and I had this big family dinner and one of my aunts told me that I should strongly consider running every single morning because guys aren't going to want to date a fat girl. And I was like, that's so fucked up. Fuck these people. Why is everybody dealing with, you know, getting shamed when they're like teenagers? You're barely a teenager and the world is calling you fat. Now that sucks. That's some bullshit. I've also dealt with that crap before too. And I know so many other people who have. So what the fuck is wrong with people, particularly adults making weird judgmental claims on children, even if they're fat, like it doesn't even matter. It's just fucked up and weird. Like it's cringe. Why are people so cringe and treat other people that are children or like teens? Like why do they treat them like shit and call them fat or like imply that they're overweight? It makes them feel worse. And I feel like that's why people get a lot of eating disorders when they're in like high school and stuff. They start off feeling the judgment of society and I think it's good to be judged, but I feel like the number one thing that happens and it's not good is usually these people uh, at a young age, they get judged or bullied or whatever for being fat and or they feel like they're inadequate for their body weight. They start trying to lose weight, sometimes through healthy means and sometimes through not healthy means. They start taking it too far and become hyper obsessive and excessive with their endeavors for weight loss. And they either end up becoming like anorexic or they develop another kind of eating disorder. And then they get into like binge eating or restricting or other forms of compensatory behavior or they just like end up like losing their minds and or they just stay fat and then they develop more eating disorder behaviors. And then they eventually either have to go to therapy or they're just stuck in this disorder for like 10 plus years. It's just a disaster. Like it literally sucks. And I feel like so many people end up developing eating disorders from this. And it all starts from just like the simplistic judgments of society. So I have my sympathies. I don't really think it's super avoidable. Like if people just make judgments on you, like family are gonna be assholes. But at the end of the day, I think that's where a lot of people start like going downhill with the dieting and the eating disorder stuff. 
And like if you're overweight, like severely overweight, yeah, you want to lose weight, but you want to try and just be healthy, like be active, eat healthy and stuff like that. But I feel like nobody does that. Everybody just takes it to extremes. It just sucks, man. I know so many people who've done that crap. Like so many people. It's like ridiculous. Like, hold up, bitch. I'm fat. I like, I've always known I was taller than everybody, a little bit like bigger than everybody, but I never considered myself to be fat. I actually liked that my body was bigger and that I was taller. I I felt, I don't know, more strong, more confident because of it. But because this comment came from someone that I loved and I admired so much, it truly did get to me. I went from being confident and comfortable in my body to somebody that literally tried to make myself smaller in any way possible. That one comment changed everything. That sucks. I have my sympathies for these people. Like when you have to deal with that kind of crap, especially at like a really young age, like 15, your brain's not fully developed, you're impressionable, and you also are like, you know, you want to be accepted by people and loved by people and whatnot, and you feel like, oh, if I fix my body, if I lose some weight, then I'll be loved more. It's really sad. Like, I have definitely, like, I don't know if this person really belongs on a cringe compilation. Like, it's just really sad. I don't know about the stitches they were talking about, but in general, like, that's like rough stuff, my dude. Like, I have a lot of sympathy for people who fell into the weird, like, dieting cycles at early ages. I don't think it's healthy. I think it really messes them up like long term and then they end up either getting into like fat acceptance or body positivity or they end up in like ED recovery for years. It's just a disaster. It's like a literal disaster. It's way too common. Way too common. Anyways, that's the video. Tell me what you think in the comments below my people. What do you think about this? And what do you think about everything else? Do you think? I hope you do because I sure as hell don't. Anyways, that's the video. Tell me what you think in the comments below and I will see you all next time. It has been lovely. Slater.